Yes, my name is Mark Winkler, and this is uh, Mongo the Trebuchet. It's a uh, counterweighted trebuchet with approximately 1,200 pounds on it right now. You can bump it up to about 1,600 pounds. Uh, it operates by pulling a lever there, a pin comes out, the weight drops down, and the arm comes up and slings the object. Uh, with a full load of about 1,600 pounds, we can throw you know, 250 yards probably with a 16-pound bowling ball. Uh, I built it about uh, six or seven years ago. It took about six months to design it and about six months to, uh, to build it and put it together. And this is our second year at the Make Fair. Well, a trebuchet is a type of catapult. There's onagers and mangonels, which are basically the old wound ones with like rope or horsehair or something that would come up like the, kind of like in gladiator with the big spoon. And then the trebuchets were very popular a little bit later on. They're probably from the 7th or 8th century through to about the 14th century. And they got a little bit better range and controllability than the other ones. And they've used them for the, really to throw the big, big, large boulders to break down fortified walls and stuff so they could gain entry into uh, you know, the castle. You can throw 250 to 300 yards with 1,600 pounds and like throwing a 16 pound bowling ball or 16 pound watermelon. Oh, sometimes they uh, tear apart. Sometimes a watermelon or a pumpkin will fly apart in the air. They're, that's known as uh, making pie. So uh, a lot of times it's just a spin. Mine puts a 90 degree, I mean, a, a sharp spin on it like a football throw. So a lot of times a hydraulic pressure inside a melon will tear it apart. It'll just blow up in the air. Or sometimes a catapult actually just its G-force rips it apart. 20 to 25 Gs. Uh, it pretty much implodes. You actually see like about a 20 foot ring kind of a shock wave when it hits, it hits that hard and there's nothing left but just pink mist that uh, kind of floats away in the air. Probably the fireballs that we do. It's like a 16, uh, 20 pound you know, ball of rock that we wrap in burlap and uh, you know, terry cloth towels and we secure it with wire mesh around it and we soak it in kerosene and uh, it's uh, pretty spectacular to see it. It's uh, definitely a kick in the pants. Does anyone have a big lighter? Well, we keep everyone back away from it, and it's extinguished, extinguished with a uh, either a fire extinguisher or a wet blanket or you know water. It's pretty easily uh, snuffed out. Is everybody back? No one behind there? Wait, right behind? Yeah, just make sure there's nobody yes. right here. You'll have to get back some people because this will sling kerosene off of it. You don't want to be uh, soaking kerosene. You have to figure out the length of the you know, chain, the length of your beam, the object you're throwing, uh, the setting on your release pin. There's actually quite a few things that come into play. Into All right, you ready? Get out of the way. You have to throw a fire gas. Going down. We're going down. One time there was a, um, a woman that was in the crowd, and there was about 15 other women, about 15 other guys, and uh, we threw it, and everyone jumped up and went crazy, and the lady stood up and goes, so why did you build this weird thing? And about 12 of the 15 ladies jumped up immediately to my defense and said, hey, you know, if our husbands want to build one of these, it's fine with us. We thought it was cool, so she just kind of humbly sat back down and shut up. <laughs>